All right, this video, let's take a look at an application with intervals. So we have this problem. It says a stone is dropped from the upper observation deck of the CNN tower 450 meters above the ground. They want us to find the distance of the stone above ground level at time t. And how long does it take the stone to reach the ground? And with what velocity does it strike the ground? All right, so we need to come up with the, with the position function where it tells us the height of the stone above ground level at any particular time. So the, the first thing we'll do is we'll start with uh, the acceleration function. So it doesn't give us anything, but we know that the acceleration due to gravity is negative 9.8 meters per second squared. And we use that because we're in meters here. If we were in feet, we would use negative 32 feet per second squared. So we know that the acceleration is negative 9.8. All right. We need S, the position function. Well, if we have the acceleration and we integrate this, that will give us the velocity function. So the velocity function is the integral of the acceleration function. It's the antiderivative. So that means our velocity is negative 9.8t plus c. Don't forget when you when you integrate, you've got to enter, you've got to put that constant c. Well, what good does this do us? We have this variable c here, this constant term, and we don't we don't know what it is. So so what could this be? Well, let's look at this. It says a stone is dropped from the upper observation deck. All right, so we just drop it. So that tells us the initial velocity, our v of zero, is equal to zero. That's our initial velocity. Well, and also remember, we're going to have to take the antiderivative of the velocity function to give us the, the position function. So we're going to need a condition for that also. Well, it's dropped from 450 meters above the ground. So that's telling me that our position function, s of 0, see at time t equals 0, the height of the object is 450 meters. All right, so we're going to have to use these. So let's look at our velocity function, and we need to figure out what c is. Well, I know v of 0 is equal to 0. So v of 0 is equal to negative 9.8 times 0 plus c. And I know that the v of 0, see up here, is equal to 0. So I'll set that equal to 0. So this tells me that c is equal to 0. You see, this goes out, this goes to 0, and that leaves me with just c equals 0. So my velocity function is negative 9.8 T. All right, now let's find the position function. So the position function is the integral of the velocity function, or is the antiderivative of the velocity function. So if I integrate this, I'm going to get s of t is equal to negative 4.9 t squared plus, and then don't forget your constant term. And in this, in this problem, I'm going to use d as my constant since I use c over here. I'm just using a different variable for my constant. You could call this c1 and this one c2 if you wanted to. It doesn't matter. All right, so now I've got to figure out what this uh, constant term is. Well, I have me a condition here that s of 0 is equal to negative 4 uh, is equal to negative 
4.9 times 0 squared plus d, and that equals 450. And so this tells me that d is equal to 450. So that means my position function is negative 4.9 t squared plus 450. So this is the answer. Let me go ahead and put A. That's the answer to part A. Now for part B, it wants to know how long does it take the stone to reach the ground. So for part B, let's, let's use a different color. So for part B, well, how long does it take the stone to hit the ground? Well, that's when the height is zero, right? So that means all I have to do is set this function here equal to zero. So negative 4.9 t squared plus 450 equals zero. So t squared is, that's going to be 450 over 4.9 which that is equal to 9.58 seconds. All right. Now, keep in mind, I'm using the square root property. That is plus or minus, but we don't use the minus, so I just use the positive one. So that's how long it'll take the stone to hit the ground. All right. Now for part C. It wants to know with what velocity does it strike the ground. All right, so to find the velocity that it strikes the ground, well, I'm going to use my velocity function here, okay? And I need to know what's the velocity when it hits the ground. Well, when does it hit the ground? After nine point at nine point five eight seconds, so I will evaluate my velocity function at nine point five eight. And that is going to give me negative ninety three. 0.9 meters per second. And there's your answer to that one. All right, so I'll do some more videos like this. Uh, they'll be a little more difficult. They'll be different than this one. So check those out. Check out my other videos. Give me a like, share, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.